double acting baking powder is a genius product and here's why in double acting baking powder the first action of releasing bubbles is uh, happens when the water hits the uh, powder the second action happens when it is uh, under heat both the batters so you can see not much is happening here now when i add it to you know you're going to see that a lot more bubbling is going to happen so visually this feels like this is going to be a great batter and this seems a little bit dull but we're going to heat it and i'm going to go, come and show you the result of these two in a okay so i stuck both the batters in the microwave and i cooked them initially it looked like the eno batter was very fluffy but once the heat kicked in at 60 degree celsius when the second stage kicks in that's when the bubbles start forming and that's exactly the time when the starches in the flour gelatinize and the protein solidify so the network is formed right as the bubbles are released which is why you see this nice structure compare that to the single acting where the bubbles are released way too early and it is getting released into the air but it's not getting captured in the batter 